loves, we are going to do a pick a card reading. Uh, just kind of like do an energy check-in uh, for your love life. This one is not going to be long, y'all. I do not have the time to do a long one, unfortunately. However, I do have some long ones that are before this one and obviously will be coming after this one, Booski. So <laughs> let's just get to it. Okay. If you want to work with me privately, that information is in the description box. If you would like to, uh, donate, tip, throw some my way so I can keep coming back here to do what I need to do. Excuse me. How one? <laughs> Ooh, Aries energy could be significant here in pile one. Aries, Libra, we'll just turn it around. With the King of Swords, Justice, I kind of feel like the energy your person is in is that of like, um, like battle, like what, like they ready, <laughs> but it's like it seems like communication. Like there's definitely something that they have to talk to you about, pal one. So I will say, um, here with this justice piece, it feels like it's a fair conversation or it's something that your boo is feeling like has not been fair for you. Um, maybe they feel like you haven't been treated fair or you haven't got the fair end of some type of situation. This could be their energy too, but I just kind of feel like it's more so like how they're feeling towards you. Um, we need to be more transparent with each other, casting a spell together. Obviously, we've got some little nasty stuff going on here, okay? And then we are guiding each other through this matrix, um, black or white magic being done on us. So I feel like this next 24 hours in terms of love, like you guys are really just... Um, fighting for your own truth, fighting for your own breakthrough, fighting for your own, like sometimes, you know how people say like, you know, car, this, you can speed it up a little bit. That's what's going on. I feel like y'all are in this energy of speeding up the karma that, um, not karma, my bad, the justice that you guys are owed. Let's just do a money pool. Creativity to 12. Spells or rituals to invite in. And then we have entrepreneurship at the bottom, making clean money. Okay. All right, pal one. Little quick, little swoop, swoop. Pal two. Let's see what's going on with show boo in you. Queen of Swords. That's so that's so interesting. The King of Swords came out of Pile One. Now here comes the Queen of Swords. Work is very significant here. Um, a lot of training, but then also a lot of faith building. I feel like you guys, your communication efforts are going to start skyrocketing. I do see a lot of divine intervention. I love when that star comes out, especially in love. Um, I, I feel the energy of hopeless romantic. Like I'm ready to be a hopeless romantic with you. Um, I don't know. There's something very um, significant here. Like, I feel like the energy here in Pile 2 is like your boo is like going out into the world. Like, I'm going to tear this down. But like behind closed doors at home, like I feel like they just really, really want to be close to you. Like a lot of intimacy. Like, I don't know. It's just something about like, I need to feel more safe in my own home, in my own environment so I can go tackle this world. Here goes some nasty stuff. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff coming out. A lot of changes, a lot of seduction. Okay, this could be maybe you guys are um, more tantra. Uh, where did I put that at? Maybe in the last book of card reading. Uh, maybe you guys are doing more tantric work, maybe doing more healing. Somebody's doing a lot of... Um, a lot of spiritual healing modalities and that's helping your love life or this is what you're unlocking or tapping into more this next 24 hours. Or I feel like somebody here, you're just doing it from a place of like, I know this works. I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question um, the miracles that can happen in my love life for me and my boo. Now, the Queen of Swords is not always my favorite card to see. I'm just going to be honest with y'all because it, it is, you know, it could be that there are some cold, manipulative, calculating people around you and your boo. However, I feel like just your guardian spirits want you guys to remain focused on some type of training or something that you're building. This could be projects that you guys are working on. This could be contracts that you're closing, deals that happening um so we have swords so gemini like bleh, gemini libra aquarius energy um taurus virgo capricorn and then i like to say leo and aquarius for this star because to balance the both of them okay let's get one more message mm -hmm. all right pal two pal three 
I'm seeing 916. That could be significant. I usually don't call out like the numbers like that, but somebody here, you're, uh, uh, there's more. I feel like power three next 24 hours is more comfortability. And I say that because when the queen of chalices is coming out in the reverse, it lets me know that somebody is making you and or your boo feel like you're being too overbearing or being too nurturing. Or it could be that there's people in y'all's universe that don't like the fact that you um, show up as this queen of chalices for them. It doesn't really matter if you're a man or a woman watching this. It's just in power three. It's just more so that... Um, that nurturing energy, that comforting energy, that very mystic, um, a lot of, uh, a lot of very strong connection to moon energy here in pile three. It could be that you guys share your moon signs, moon houses, and one of your charts. Here with this queen of wands, I feel like uh, there's a lot of confidence building that's happening. It does, some of it does feel material. I ain't even gonna lie. Like somebody here or you guys here in Pile 3, a big part of your confidence. Um, it's just, you know, like your how you look, your appearance. So we have this hitting a raw, don't care about the outcome. Um, maybe somebody here, you know, in Pile 3, your boo is, wants to have children or is trying to get you pregnant or maybe they're not saying. Maybe you don't know because it came like. I'm looking at the fact there's reversals here. It just seems like there's a lot of things that are needing to come to the surface in terms of love, or it is just coming to the surface in just a very, um, a very fluid way. Okay. So we got $5,000 payout and they can't go with you. I feel like you're taking something old and making it new, or it's just like you're shifting energies around. And those energy shifts, I feel like is really drawing out that queen of wands energy to the point where like you and your boo, I feel like y'all's confidence is skyrocketing together. Um, this could be new boundaries. This could be new neural networks. This could be just you guys just really loving on each other. I feel like a lot of love, like a lot of love confessions. This could be love proposals. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, look. Make, wow. Oh, but see, look. Say so some of you guys dissolving some black magic, exercising it. Um, I don't know how you say that word, right? I've, that's probably why this Queen of Wands is here. Honestly, sometimes I feel like the Queen of Wands comes out when people need like a very big energy boost or shift. Like, um, kind of like, you know how it's say you like listening to your favorite song and you dancing and then like your, your vibration starts to rise and your energy starts to elevate your endorphins start to endorphin. That's what I feel like is happening here. I do feel like your boo is proud of you, but maybe they they don't know how to say it or they they feel like if they, I don't know, somebody here like in love, it's like they feel like if they start saying all the things that they feel, that everything that you're going to leave. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Or it's like maybe they're just um, have an, uh, just a little like, or maybe it comes out during this. <laughs> Or maybe that's when those feelings would come out. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right, pal three. I was just gonna keep flipping too, honey. Ooh. Okay. All right. I hope this helps somebody in some way, shape, or form. Booski was able to extract something from this reading. All right. Love you guys. Bye.